Bill Tortorelli must have breathed really well. It's just a lot of pressure because I'm the second bill of the evening and the first had sound effects and they were so great and I don't have any sound effects in the story of my life on hash. Wait, no, no, not on hash, on the hash. Is that a difference you guys understand? It's really not my story, it's the story of my friend Mike. Well, I mean, I'll have to tell you about him. I'd like to talk about him the whole time because in high school he had that great mullet. It was, we, behind his back we called him the duck because he had this duck's ass on the back of his head. It was wonderful. But, no, don't laugh at my friend Mike. He went through a really, really horrible divorce recently, and his two kids are flipping back and forth between the houses, and he put on a giant beer gut. Um, I guess we're all in danger of that. But the last time I saw him, the beer gut was gone. He was happy. He had this sweet, foxy girlfriend. And I said, Mike, how did you do this? How did you turn your life around? And he said, hash. And I said, Mike, no, don't get into that sort of thing. That's a bad idea. It's not good for you. And he said, no, 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 the hash. Are you familiar with the hash? A show of hands. The Hash House Harriers is what I'm referring to. Hashing is a, oh, yeah. is a running <laughs> club. And he said, it's a running club. And I said, well, you look like you've been getting exercise. And then he said, well, no, don't get the wrong impression. It's a beer club. And I said, a well, what is it? And he said, well, you're running for beer. <laughs> Which is a good excuse for running. But apparently, these hashers, they run from beer to beer to beer to beer. Drinking, running, running, drinking. You thought exercise didn't involve alcohol, but really the best possible way. And as the hashers tell me, beer keeps you hydrated even better than water. <laughs> and so when I moved to Philadelphia this summer, he said, contact the local hash. And I said, no way, man. But I did. I found myself going online. And I did these Google searches for hash, and I found a lot of strange things I'm not going to talk about tonight. But eventually I found the Hash House Harriers. And Philadelphia has two groups, different days of the week. Thursdays are better for me than Sundays, so I am now a member of the Ben Franklin mob. Hash House Harriers. And I show up at a grungy little South Philly bar, the Triangle Tavern, if you know it. I know so many grungy South Philly bars now, and it's all because of the Ben Franklin mob. So I'm at the Triangle Tavern, and there's a gang of people there, a disreputable looking sort, and I don't want to talk to them, but I have to, because I, I said I'd be there. I told Mike Duck, you know, with the hair. And, and so I approach them, and, and it's time. It's time to begin. And I guess I should tell you a little bit about this ritual. It begins with a circle, and it ends with a circle, and, well, you already know the middle part, running, beer, running, beer, running, beer. But in the beginning, they, they grabbed me and they said, you're a virgin, aren't you? And I thought, so many times not. But, of course, this was my first time at the hash, so I am a virgin. And they throw me into the center of the circle and they shout, what is your name and who made you come? Didn't you just call me a virgin? Well, anyway, I, I, tell them, I tell them my name is Bill, and they all shout together in a voice, Just Bill. Just Bill. Because I haven't earned my hash name. And who made me come? I say, I, some asshole in Florida. And they shout, some asshole in Florida. And they all drink to him. Because they're all holding beers. Because, why are they holding beers? They're about to start running. Circle breaks up, and... It begins the chase, because this is a fox and the hound sort of thing, or, or hare and the hounds. Somebody has already laid a trail throughout grungy South Philly with chalk marks on the ground, and we're supposed to follow the marks. And of course, every once in a while, they'll lead us to false ends, and we'll have to regroup and sniff out the trail again. And it will lead to beer. Beer, exactly. And so we find our way from beer to beer to beer, and then back to the original bar. I think I could have skipped a few steps and just gone back to the original bar. By then, I, uh, my steps were a little bit uneasy as it was, but I had gotten plenty of exercise, so this is quite all right. And another circle. The, I, I don't even know what to say about the dirty songs. Should I, should I sing a few of the dirty songs? That's not storytelling, though. Um, so I have an excuse not to sing the dirty songs. Asshole, asshole, as soldier I will be to piss, to piss, two pistols on my knee for cunt. For, cunt, for country and for king, asshole, 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 soldier I will be. <laughs> You'd better be drinking. So we're, we're enjoying our beers, and I've been mocked for my virginity. Weeks and weeks and weeks pass, and every week I'm getting all of my exercise, and I don't seem to be getting any slimmer. But 
I persist in the hash, and my proudest moment, the, the greatest ritual of all, was my own naming. No, I, I, I can't say. I can't say. <laughs>